Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm going to be making a birthday card using Penny Black Sweet Wishes stamp set. So let's get started. I'm going to be making a blue and white card for my brother. Um, it's his fraternity color, so I thought that he might like this. So what I'm going to do is take my balloon stamp. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I'm going to be doing some fussy cutting. And so I'm going to use this to put the actual balloon on, but the string I want to actually go directly on to the card. So I want to add some dimension to this. So I'm just going to turn this so I could really see it. And so I'm going to end up cutting this out and then putting it on top using some mounting squares. And I'm going to have a, several coming across. So that one's going to be down. I'll do another one going up. And you'll see what I'm trying to do as we go through this whole process. I want this one up more. So I don't want the balloon on the card yet, on the card base yet. And then I'm going to put another one like right here. Sometimes you have this idea in your head and you hope that it turns out exactly like you thought about it. So far, so good. I have another one coming up. This is a good way to actually fill up the entire card also. And I don't want to put a whole lot on this card because it is, I want to kind of keep it masculine. Okay on there and I got room for two more. I think I'll turn this over. I'm trying to use every bit of paper I can. Looks good so far. One more going up. And so far, so good. And so each of these is going to have a balloon on top. The next thing I'm going to do is start coloring in the balloons. And this is the fun part. I'm using a B29 Ultramarine Copic marker. And um, I like this color because it's exactly the blue that I need that are close enough to my brother's fraternity colors. So I'm just taking my time, kind of coloring this in, and I'm using the fine point on here to get those little corners. I think for the male, or for a masculine card, it's best to use darker colors. And you could even, if you know, like he has team colors and you want to make something for a male and you know his favorite team colors, then you could always use those. And I am really liking these Copic markers because you can really 
I don't know, it's just the ease of using them, and I like the way the color applies. One thing I really like doing is coloring. Always loved coloring. And that's okay, I came out a little bit on the side there, but I'll be cutting these out. So you don't have to really be right within the line. So far, so good. I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring this in. And then I'll come back and let you see how it looks. I'm all done coloring in all of my balloons, but I feel like it needs a little bit more variety. And so what I'm going to do is take this white gel pen and just add a few dots to them. Not all of them, but just maybe three with dots, three without. So all I'm doing is just kind of randomly putting some dots on here. Not trying to get too fancy with this card. But I think the white gel pen will give it a little bit more variety so that every balloon doesn't look the same. And I'll do three with polka dots and then we'll have three plain balloons. And this is not a fancy gel pen. I don't even see what the name is on it. Um, let's see. Oh, it's called Jelly Roll uh, 08. And I can't remember where I picked it up from. But I really like it. I would like to get a couple more gel pens in different colors. And so that looks pretty good so far. Do one more. I think what I like about the whole card making process is that there's no no rule to it. You can actually create whatever you want. And I think that's the the real fun is uh, being able to create and do it however you want. And I think it's just so so much more appreciated than just having a regular card that's bought from the store. Even when my kids were little and they made me cards, I was just so happy that they took the time to make me a card. I think that's pretty good. Let's see. What I like about this gel pen also is that it dries really fast. So that'll add some variety to our card. And now we're going to do some fussy cutting. This is probably the longest process. So I've got this cute, this little tiny scissor going to help me a lot. I just kind of rather cut out each one of these individually. And when I first started making cards uh, last July, I wasn't sure what the term fussy cutting meant until I started cutting out some of these individual images. 
And so, yeah, it's pretty fussy. <laughs> but it's so well worth the time. And hopefully this card will come out the exact way that I have in my head. You know, that ongoing picture in your head where you're kind of like, oh yeah, this would make a great card. And then you hope that it'll, it will come out exactly the way you pictured it. So I'm just cutting out each of these and I'm just being careful of that that little bit, this little edge here. Just trying to get as close to the edge. As possible. And so we've got five more to do. And this is a good thing to do like while you're watching TV. That way you're not so focused on the tedious cutting. But for me, I, I feel like it's easier to kind of shift the image as you go as you cut rather than trying to get the scissors all around it to me it just gives you a better cut okay almost done with that one just being careful with that one little stem okay and I'm going to go ahead and cut out the rest of the balloons and then we're ready to put them on our card. All of my balloons are cut out and so before I add them on here I'm going to go ahead and decorate this where the strings are and what I'm going to do is use this cute little star Thought it'd be nice to add some stars on there. Give it a little bit more character. And I figured it would be nice to have some stars in the corners. coming together already. Maybe put a star right there. Okay. And I'm going to use this celebrate stamp on there. And I think I'm going to stamp celebrate maybe right in that bottom part because I still have to leave room for my balloons at the top. I think it'll fit right there. Yep, and that looks good. And it's not centered exactly, but that's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and still keeping in with that blue theme. I'm going to color in these stars.
And if I wanted to, I could actually make these dimensional too. Stamp them onto a different piece of paper, cut them out, and then mount them on here on the card base. But I think the balloons will be enough. Sometimes less is more. I like these markers because they have the fine tip, but they also have that other tip that's broader. But for small images like this, this is perfect. If you hear that noise, that's my dog right underneath the table while I'm taping. He's actually scratching himself. So he sits right like on my feet. Okay. And with this, I have to be very careful because I'm trying to stay within the lines. So far, it's all good. Okay, and this is good. I like celebrate, but also on this um, stamp set, it's got a variety of messages. It's got the happy birthday, may all your dreams come true, sending you smiles, have a fabulous birthday, enjoy today, make a wish, sweet wishes, hooray for you. It's your special day. I love the cupcake. Um, and so it's got a lot of nice little messages to carry you throughout the whole year. And so I'll probably stamp one of those other messages, the longer message on the inside of the card. And I will put all of the dimensions for this card below. Coming down the line here. Almost done. It's actually coming out the way I pictured it in my head which is good. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Tumbo Mono Permanent Adhesive. And I'm trying to pick up a few supplies as I go along. whole card making journey. I think I'll do something in the middle here. But I am really liking this adhesive. So I'm gonna make sure I get this on right. Okay, and that looks great so far. I'm really liking the way this is turning out. So that's what we have so far. Now we're going to go ahead and take, I've been really liking these Elmer's Craft Bond, and I'm going to use the mounting squares. And so I'm going to put a balloon alternating, of course. And so this is going to look really nice. It already looks nice without the dimension, but with the dimension, I just feel like it's going to take it to a whole nother level. So I 
think I'm just going to put two on each of these. That's looking very good. Yay, it's actually coming out the way that I hoped. Sometimes a picture in your head could look a whole lot different than the outcome. really nice. And the nice thing is you could use the same pattern and just make a whole bunch of cards in different colors. So I hope some of you are inspired by this. I am definitely addicted to the whole card making process. I just like the whole idea of creating something that never existed before. Make sure that's straight. Oh yeah, that's it's looking really good. One more to go. I probably came up a little bit too high with that because it looks like it can just go right at the edge. I'm just going to drop it down just a little bit so it doesn't hit that star. I am really liking the way that has turned out.